Hello and welcome back to Bus Week 4. So far we've checked out Hornibook's BCI Prima LF, a Mercedes 0405 NH at Thompson's and a Volvo B7 RLE from Transdev at Capalaba. Hello and welcome back to Talking Planning. Today I managed to get a pretty crazy score. At the moment I am the only passenger on board a Logan City Bus Service Volvo B12 BLEA which this one's one of the triple door ones with the Volgram body. So if you've ever been down to Sydney, you should be very familiar with this layout and design. So come and join me for the ride as we pop down the busway and travel a little bit around the CBD on one of these lovely articulated buses from Logan City Bus Service. Logan has three types of Artics that you'll see plying the busway on a regular basis. There are four Volvo B12 BLA A's, two which come with this Volgram body, and two which come with a custom CB60 Evo 2 body. The other two Artics are these snazzy new Volvo B8 RLEAs fitted with Optimus bodywork. As the doors close, let's get underway with today's review. This B12 BLEA is fitted with the CR228L body and basically is a copy of what State Transit ordered back in 2010 minus the graffiti fabric. The interior layout is basically the same with three doors, a mix of single seats and standard benches and stop bells absolutely everywhere. This bus comes with Volvo's DH12E engine which offers up 340 horsepower and a meaty 1700 newton meters of torque, which is exactly what you need when moving plenty of passengers up and down the busway. I'm pretty sure this one's got a four speed Voith rather than six speed ZF judging by the wine, but either way, there's still plenty of go. Let's have a quick listen now. The layout of these buses is quite different to the typical ethos of an SEQ bus, which is to cram in as many seats as humanely possible to make sure everyone is sitting down before resorting to standing space. These Artics on the other hand actually sacrifice seating space to offer a more balanced interior layout, which is better for boarding and alighting times. Safe to say that's probably why Sydney chose this layout when they placed an order for 150 B12 BLEAs almost like this one. With the high speed focus of the busway, boarding and alighting times matter, and it surprised me that it took Brisbane such a long time to see the value of three door articulated buses. For that though I'm going to exclude the three door Fuji bodied Volvos that lived a short life at Brisbane Transport back in the 80s and 90s. The first section of the busway recently celebrated its 20th anniversary and the 8 mile Plains extension turns 20 at the end of April. We've come a long way from the early bus offerings that plied the corridor since it was new, with high floor coaches, old low floors, and even Brisbane Scanyas, which kick-started the fleet modernisation, now all being consigned to the history books. This Volvo was part of the Bendy Revolution, where busway vehicles got much larger and much more modern, and this bus can easily handle busy peak hour 555 services with ease. A couple of years earlier, Brisbane Transport responded to the Bendy revolution with the delivery of 30 MAN NG313 Artics, and I reviewed one of them in my very first bus week. To date, I'm pretty sure that's still the most popular bus review I've ever done, which says something about Brisbane Transport fanboys. Anyway, I've enjoyed going for a quick trip on board this classic Volvo B12 BLEA, and since I'm approaching Griffith University Busway, 
I think it's time to jump off this bus and let it head on its merry way towards the Hyperdome. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again tomorrow for the final day of Bus Week 4.